How's it going guys? Charlie from Drunk Guy Explains and we're here talking about the Steel Bull Crap Strategy. Now the thing about the steel bull crap strategy, this is a public disclaimer. We put out a video with the original video, but then you know one thing about DG is that we don't like putting out videos unless we can guarantee a win or guarantee really great odds. So this is going to be edited to be this. This crap strategy is not a guaranteed winner. This crap strategy is not a guaranteed money maker. However, this is a great strategy for a cold table. I'm saying again, a cold table, and this is basically how the strategy goes. It's an upside down iron cross. I know, don't judge me, it's okay. So we're gonna put all this in. I have $1,000 out here just to, for demonstration purposes. And we're gonna do a $10 table. It does not matter what the end table is. So what you're gonna do is after a seven has been thrown, the point is off. You put the minimum, let's just say $10, on the dull. And then you put the minimum on these six and eight which in this case is a $12, six and eight. And it works for one throw. This is stage one. So if you throw a six or an eight and get paid on a six or an eight, the point becomes a six or an eight, you get paid $14 and you simply just have to take down your dull, take the $14 profit and turn off. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. So let's just say once again, Going back to $10 table, points on, sevens enrolled. Let's say the number is a five or nine. Well, if the number is a five or nine, you basically, once again, keep these going. And it's the law of three, so three rolls. So for this one, I have $24 out there. Oh, that's it. I keep playing on higher tables, guys. So 30 pays, 20. And so that's generally speaking where you want to be. You could bump it up another $6 if you want to make it $23. But you know, for right now, we're keeping the math simple because we have a $10 don't, which is going to add to your profit. And basically, you roll for three times or until one of them hits once. If one of them hits once, you get paid $14. You take back your don't and you take off your don't pass and let it fly. Okay? If a four has been thrown after a seven, then you still have your don't pass bar. You put down 50 to win 25, hit once. And if you hit once, you get paid, take down your odds and let the don't stay for a four and 10, or you can take it down and go be more conservative. Now in saying that, you know, we've talked about all this. So what happens if you roll three times and nothing happens? Well, you just turn this off, take down your don't, let it fly, okay? Now all of this is predicated on the point after seven. If you're familiar with fire bet, this would be a new shooter, his first point or her first point, okay? So let's say you have this off, minimal on the dull, and let's say you do roll a, and this is working, you roll a seven. All you do is take the loss and wrap it into the dull. So right here, you'd lose 10, Plus 24, you lose $34, you come back with a $30 don't. And then still do the minimum or scale up with it. If you do a $30, six and eight, you keep scaling with it, or you can just come back with a $12, six and eight and grind it out. It's your prerogative, but that is it. So that's how you kind of keep this going. You're feeding in the losses back into the don't. And the reason why, in my opinion, is that just like the fire bed explains at a casino, every point that you make becomes increasingly harder to make the next point. And that's just how the fire bed works. You can check out those odds at any Wizard of Odds or online or at a casino. So you rolling all your don'ts into a don't pass bar is a good bet. You can get caught though, in terms of a bunch of 7-11s in between the point, but you can also get paid with a bunch of twos and threes and a 12 is a push. So you have a lot of options there to really kick back a lot of your profit, make pretty good money, and have a good time playing the do's and the don'ts at the same time. So in saying all that, I showed you the betting strategies and the head strategies when the point is a six or an eight. 
when it's a five or nine or a four and 10. Also show you what happens if you lose when it's working, you have money on the don't and you hit a seven and you lose all that, you wrap it back into the don't. And then also what happens, let's say if you have a $12 six and eight, and this is something that we haven't talked about, it's called a no loss progression. Points off $12 six and eight, boom, you hit a six. You get paid your $14 off the six. You turn this off, you get paid 14, you rack this back, and then they hit the six. So now you've hit the six, and now we're on the second point. Well, any point prior or after the second, or after the first point, you never turn these bets back on. All you do is just do a progression of whatever you lost plus profit for every point. Because once again, remember, it's increasingly harder the more points you make. So then you just backdoor it right back into just kind of playing with the don't and letting it build. And remember guys, at the end of the day, we're always here just to melt those racks and build these stacks. So guys, this is Charlie from Drug Guy Explains and we will check you.